Hello, I'm going to talk to you now about food preparation and nutrition, another one of the GCSE options um, available to you. Now, this particular GCSE equips you with an array of culinary skills, as well as knowledge of nutrition, food traditions and kitchen safety. It will inspire and motivate you, opening your eyes to a world of career opportunities and giving you the confidence to cook with ingredients from across the globe. So what will you study? Okay, at the heart of the qualification, there's a real focus on developing your practical cookery skills and of giving you a really robust understanding of nutrition. You'll also learn about food from around the world, as well as developing an understanding of where food comes from. That's something called food provenance. You'll master culinary skills and appreciate the science behind food and cooking. It's a really exciting and creative course, which will allow you to demonstrate your practical skills and make connections between theory and practice. So assessment. This is divided into two parts, each worth 50%. So the written paper, that's an exam that you'll take at the end of year 11. And this will assess you on your knowledge of the theory behind food preparation and nutrition. And the exam is one hour and 45 minutes long. The coursework, which is known as the NEA, non-examination assessment, is the second part of your assessment. And this consists of two tasks, both involving practical work. The first task is worth 15%, and this is an investigation that you choose from a selection set by the exam board to show your understanding of the working characteristics, functional chemical properties of ingredients. The second task, this is worth 35%, and this is an in-depth study of your choice, which is followed by a three-hour practical exam to showcase your creativity and cooking skills. I've got some photographs later on to sort of show you some examples of the work that students have done for that. For example, you might make a street food menu, create delicious tapas dishes, or cook up a menu for a student on a budget. How does it fit in with the other subjects? Well, it can be combined with any other GCSE course, but in terms of the subject knowledge, the nutrition and health may, may particularly complement GCSE biology and GCSE PE. Food preparation and nutrition also helps you to learn how to work independently and manage your time. These are skills that are valued by both higher education institutions and employers. Now, the actual skills that you will learn, um, as I said before, there's a really strong practical focus here. So you will be doing quite a lot of practical work, um, mastering a variety of technical skills and so that you become really proficient in the kitchen. In addition to that, you develop a really in-depth knowledge of food science, food safety, food choice, nutrition and health. And you'll also develop many transferable skills such as analysis, evaluation, communication, working independently, time management and the ability to interpret information and data. So transferable skills are those skills that you can actually transfer to other subjects, other courses, not just um, food and nutrition. So after the course, you could embark on an AS or A-level study um, or begin an apprenticeship or perhaps begin employment in the catering or food or industries. You'll also have the knowledge and skills to feed yourself and others affordably and nutritionally for life. Lots of careers um, uh, potentially could be ahead of you, food technologist, for example, or you might work in the retail industry. You could become a chef or caterer. Um, writing about food is um, a great career, so you could become a food journalist, you could become a food teacher, um, or you could become a dietitian or nutritionist. As I said before, I have some lovely examples to show you. And here we've got some examples of NEA work that students have worked on um, in the past. Um, as I said, you prepare a, a sort of a three course meal for this. Um, really exciting. Uh, it's a really nice sort of um, combination of all the practical skills that you've learned over the two years. Please, if you have any questions, um, ask your um, uh, food teacher, Mrs. Ahmed, or myself at any point during the remote learning lessons. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.